everybody, it's Big Ant, and I wanted to make a video real quick here while I was tearing the yard apart to show you guys an update for my uh, LED lighting system that I was working on this year. So I got real lucky, and I got this really cool metal uh, outdoor enclosure from work, and I was able to mount my electronics inside of it. So as you can see here, I've got my, my power supply over here, 12 volt, 2 amp, and it's wired into the uh, female RCA connectors here. And from there, I went to... Um, a website called Monoprice. I was able to buy tons and tons of pre-made RCA cables, like really cheap. I don't remember the exact prices, but I think like my 25-foot cables I bought were like 20 cents or 30 cents a piece. Um, these little Y adapters were like you know, like 60 cents. I don't remember the exact prices, but they were all way under a dollar. Um, I think I spent 50 bucks for cables, and I had way more cables than I knew what to do with. So I bought 25 foot cables, six foot cables, and uh, numerous Y adapters. And what I did here uh, to avoid having to, you know, solder a ton of female connectors and make a lot of breakout here, um, I just had the original setup and then I just put Y adapters on each one of those. And so right away that doubles my capacity. And as you can see, that was even more than I needed anyway. I still didn't even need all of these uh, Y adapters here. And from there, I was able to make my runs using the 25-foot cables and stuff out into the yard. And the really cool thing about this system, because it's using these RCA cables, is uh, anywhere I needed uh, an extra outlet, instead of running yet another 25-foot uh, cable, I actually had these little Y splitters out in the field. I don't recommend these. These don't work nearly as good as the actual cable Y adapter. Uh, each one of these has a, a little prong set up on it for... Uh, the input and I had to like bend the prongs to make a really good connection so I, I don't recommend these I, went, I ended up pulling most of these back out and putting the Y adapter cables themselves in the field but anyway the, the original point I was making was this is nice because um, whenever I would make a run somewhere and all of a sudden I decided oh I wanted two LEDs in that area uh, instead of running another huge long run like I said I could just make one run throw another Y adapter on it out here in the in the grass and then I'd have two connectors and essentially I could just keep doing that uh, as many times as I needed and that's because each one of the LEDs has the resistor soldered directly onto the LED itself so I don't have to worry about the resistance or anything going out into the field because I knew each one had its own resistor on it and so that worked out great like I said I bought these cables they were really cheap and I was able to run them throughout the whole yard and as you can see in the other videos you know I had lanterns and candles and pumpkins everywhere and so I used the LEDs for all of that this year. I, I converted most of my candles, all of my pumpkins and lanterns and things like that and it uh, worked out great. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that update.